Hello, Tommy Knockers. It's me again. I have a video response to Auntie Chan's uh, video, Nerd vs. Nerd War. And also, Ziploc Gory uh, did a pretty good response to it, but I'm uh, primarily talking about her original video. And uh, what she's talking about is her frustration dealing with fan on fan violence, or at least negativity and bitchiness. And uh, she uses it as an example of. Uh, mainly because she is a big fan of both manga and uh, Western comics, uh, the attitudes that, uh, you know, the fans of either uh, throw towards the other, uh, as if they're not valid. And uh, the only real version of whatever they like is manga. Oh, no, comics. Uh oh And it's quite annoying. And I agree with her 100% uh, uh, there. And uh, there's one thing... It, it, there's a difference between a simple friendly rivalry like oh, uh, Marvel and DC or Star Trek and Star Wars and shit like that. Uh, and there's another where you don't consider the other fandoms to be valid or people who believe in this kind of fandom to be valid or even, I'll uh, even bring this up, uh, people who don't know as much as you do about a specific fandom, like, say, Star Wars or something like that. Like, oh, you only watch the movies, you don't read the books and video games and, you know, whatever the fuck they make. Um, yeah, you know, that is actually a really obnoxious thing about geek culture and, and uh, the, the one to be, this, this attitude that they have to be the most superior and you have to feel inferior. Uh, and, it, and, you know, I notice in, this is not just, um, you know, in comics and sci-fi. You know, I, I see this in, like, video game uh, culture. And, hey, let's take it out of, you know, geek culture completely. Uh, I see it in sports. I see it in politics. And I see it in religion. Uh, <laughs> quite a bit in religion. It's sadly a human trait. And, um... Uh, it has not only left uh, people feeling bullied, uh, sometimes it leaves people dead. And um, this attitude that I, I, I can only guess comes from some horrible, tiny little piece of self-loathing that is just spread throughout, you know, the, these people's psyches that they have to get back somehow and take it out on you, the other people, uh, just so they can feel valid about themselves, so they have to make you feel bad. And in particular geek culture, it's amazing that, you know, we all grow up and we, you know, a lot of us, well, let's face it, we're uh, kind of bullied ourselves, either, um, you, know, you know, physically by beatings or just, you know, mockery or something like that. Uh, because, you know, we were into dorky stuff. So how can we turn in on ourselves and do the same exact thing? Um, sadly, it's something that just keeps happening, and it is always there. And I, I, I do believe that uh, p people who see this should really recognize it as not just something that is just centered on uh, geek culture. I mean, this is just a problem. Um, how to defeat this kind of thing? Well, I mean, this is going on for, this is, this is a human behavior that's been around for thousands of years. Well, as long as humans have been around, anyway. Um, my personal advice is to not give them what they want. If they're trying to bully you because they know more about Batman than you, I would say ignore them. I would say shun them. I would say give them the opposite reaction that they want. Uh, just think of them as the Malfoys from Harry Potter. That's basically the same kind of thing. And um, people like that are just small, petty people. And you know what? It doesn't take much to make them feel worse. So uh, I say don't let them uh, get you down. And uh, I think that's about it, so push the button, Lindsay.